The General Data Protection Regulation is being called one of the biggest ever shakeups in how businesses deal with personal data. It takes effect on 25th of May 2018 and potentially affects all businesses, or in fact anybody or anything engaged in economic activity, from sole traders all the way up to the biggest corporations. Its impact on every kind of business and in every department of business is likely to be massive and cannot be underestimated. In a recent research study by Sage, Approximately 6 out of 10 businesses said they aren't aware of GDPR and aren't sure how GDPR will impact their business. So, are you ready for the GDPR? First things first, what even is the GDPR? The General Data Protection Regulation GDPR, sets out a list of minimum responsibilities for businesses in relation to the personal data they collect and process relating to individuals in EU countries. What's considered personal data is much broader than ever before and now includes things like location data and IP addresses or even the cultural or social identity of the individual. It also gives individuals many new rights over their data and rights over what businesses do with it. This also impacts businesses because they have to put in place procedures to respond if people make use of these rights. But it isn't just you or the individuals you deal with who are affected. The GDPR also governs the processes third parties you might utilize to deal with data. This means that they also become responsible for data breaches when handling your data. But what's the worry? You already comply with the Data Protection Act, right? Or maybe you thought you just never had to bother with this kind of thing before. Well, the GDPR supersedes all existing data protection legislation, while also adding a whole heap of new requirements on top of those older laws. And one of the goals when the GDPR was created was to ensure that laws regarding the protection of personal data were made uniform across all European member states, in particular with regard to online activity. There's no grace period or crossover time after the GDPR comes into effect in May 2018. So you'll need to be ready well in time. Okay, so the big question is, what happens if I don't comply with the GDPR? Aside from the obvious, such as not being able to do business lawfully in the EU until you achieve compliance or a reputational damage to your business, the GDPR brings with it some eye-watering potential fines for breaches. The GDPR applies to all businesses, regardless of size, even sole traders. Additionally, the GDPR allows individuals to utilize something similar to a US-style class action lawsuit requesting a formal regulatory investigation if a business does not comply with the GDPR. And the last thing any business wants is for a customer to take them to court seeking damages. What about businesses outside the EU? Even if your business is based outside the EU, if it offers goods or services to individuals in the EU or monitors their behaviors, it will need to be compliant with the GDPR. Don't think Brexit is any escape. The GDPR will apply to the UK at least until it leaves the EU in 2019, and a new UK Data Protection Bill, which incorporates the requirements of the GDPR, is currently going through Parliament, so GDPR is probably here to stay. Let's look at the most significant features of the GDPR. Although, please remember that the GDPR is a hugely complicated legislative document and attempting to summarize all 55,000 words of it into just a few minutes isn't possible. So, you should consider this the first step in learning more. The first significant feature is the change necessary to ensure you obtain valid consents. Although consent is only one means of proving lawful processing, where you process personal data on the basis of this, for example for marketing purposes, that consent must be confirmed by a statement or clear affirmative action by that individual. You can no longer assume consent by using things like pre-check boxes on websites. For example, you can't assume you've got the consent if the individual keeps quiet. Also, consent is not one size fits all, so if an individual gives consent for one thing, that you can't use it for something else. Even if you've already got consent from individuals as part of your current business processes, it might not meet the requirements of the GDPR. And if that's the case, and there's no other lawful basis for processing, then you'll have to get new consent or stop using that data. Individuals have increased rights under the GDPR. This will almost certainly change how you handle and process their data. But more than this, you've got to inform them about all their rights and be able to respond when the individual makes use of their rights. For example, individuals should be told how they can withdraw their consent, object to certain types of data processing, and make a complaint to a supervisory authority. Another example is that you must tell people how long their personal data will be held for. It's not enough to merely comply with the GDPR. A business needs to prove it's doing so under the GDPR's requirement for accountability. And this means complying with some onerous record-keeping requirements. This does not just apply to your own business. 
but also to any third parties you use. In fact, record keeping is a vital part of the accountability requirement under the GDPR, especially if the processing is likely to result in a risk to the individuals. Where individuals provide data to you on the basis of consent or under a contract, they also have the right to ask you to move, copy, or transfer personal data you have about them from one IT environment to another, even to a competitor without hindrance. Which is to say, the data will need to be provided in a structured, commonly used, and machine-readable format. Subject to certain exemptions, individuals also have the right to ask you to entirely forget about them. Which is to say, remove their personal data and no longer use it. If when you are processing data for your own purposes, and you are in breach of the GDPR, you'll have to tell the local supervisory authority within 72 hours of becoming aware. Additionally, in circumstances where a data breach poses a high risk to the individuals, you've also got to tell the individuals concerned what's happened. If you're processing personal data on behalf of another party, you will have to tell the other party about a breach immediately. As mentioned earlier, and put simply, all companies must take care of their own GDPR requirements. But a big new feature introduced by the GDPR is that third parties processing data on behalf of others are also directly liable for their own GDPR breaches. Additionally, although the GDPR is EU legislation, any businesses anywhere that offers goods or services to individuals in the EU or who monitors their behavior also needs to be compliant with the GDPR. This could include businesses everywhere, from America to Zimbabwe. Privacy considerations must be built in everywhere for the lifetime of the data to match the privacy expectations of the individual from the start to the end. This is referred to as privacy by design. Additionally, only data that's strictly required for the stipulated purpose can be used, something that's referred to as privacy by default. There's the possibility you might need to appoint a data protection officer, in which case they must be suitably qualified. This is especially true if your business is a public authority or where your core activities involve 1. The monitoring of individuals on a large scale, including profiling. Or 2. You handle data in special categories on a large scale such as medical data or data relating to criminal convictions and offences. The data protection officer could be an existing employee or you might contract someone from outside your business, but you'll have to inform the supervisory authority who they are. We've already mentioned the penalties, and there's no way of getting away from them. For contravening the GDPR, you can be fined up to 4% of your annual global turnover, or 20 million euros, whichever is greater. You might be fined even if there is no actual loss of data. The GDPR builds on the requirements of existing legislation covering data protection, known as EU Directive 95 forward slash 46. For example, the GDPR again says personal data must be processed lawfully, fairly and in a transparent manner. And there continues to be a general prohibition on sending personal data outside the European economic area to countries or organizations that don't provide adequate protection, unless another transfer solution applies. Don't let your business become another statistic. Compliance is serious business, and it starts with every one of us. For your business, it starts with you. All products, processes, and people at Sage are getting ready for the GDPR. We lead the way in modeling best practices in compliance. We believe it's the Sage thing to do. Sage has always placed a high importance on adhering to compliance regulation, and the introduction of the GDPR in May 2018 will be no different. Sage is committed to providing you with software products and services that are ready for the GDPR and to arming you with the information you need to learn more about the GDPR for your business. Sage is proud to be a trusted custodian of our customers' data and will enhance the functionality of our products and processes in preparation for the GDPR. Sage also plans to make GDPR educational courses available to you. In addition, Sage is developing thought leadership content in the form of white paper guides, videos, blogs, and more to help you better understand and get ready for the GDPR. Partnering with Sage for your software needs is just the first step towards being prepared for GDPR. Sage strongly encourages you to seek your own legal advice to ensure all of your business operations are ready for GDPR. For more information about GDPR in the UK, visit the Data Protection Reform Area of the Information Commissioner's Office website, ico.org.uk. If you want to learn more about what SAGE is doing to get ready for GDPR, visit sage.com forward slash GDPR, which is available in most major European languages.